Hi, I'm Emma Hashimoto and I'm in the 11th grade and I'm applying to be a Commissioner of Spirit. Um, so what is one time that you took initiative as a leader? So I work at G Studio West Gymnastics and I coach little girls. And uh, one time I had this group of about eight girls and it was a new group that I hadn't really, I've, I've never coached before. And then the class was going great and everything, but then all of a sudden, like out of the blue, one of the girls threw up and I was just like, she just threw up on the floor. And I was just like, it's like, oh my God, like what just happened? Like I was kind of spooked, but then it was okay. I took leadership and I gave the group a thing to like an activity to do. And then I went to the bathroom with the girl and I helped her out a little bit. And then she just sat out for the rest of the class. So yeah. Alrighty, what is your biggest fear and one time that you put yourself out of your comfort zone? Alrighty, so one of my biggest fears is I am afraid of heights. And it's not like like I'm a flyer in, in, at, in cheer. And so like I can do like small heights, but it's like really big heights that just scare the heck out of me. <laughs> so I was on a hike with my family in Hawaii. And at the end, there was this huge staircase that was on like, that was along like a cliff. And it was like a beautiful view and stuff, but it was just like, it was a really long staircase and it was really high up and it was like right on the cliff. And I was like, oh my God, like I cannot do this. Like I, I really was like, I was so scared. But then I did it and I was really scared the entire time. I kept my head down. I looked up every once in a while, but it was terrifying, <laughs> but I did it and it was cool. <laughs> it was a nice view. Alrighty. Um, what sets you apart from other applicants? Um, so <laughs> I am really open-minded. Like I am so down to just try any idea, like within reason, but like I'm very open-minded to like new ideas and things and stuff and I'll give everything a try and if it doesn't work then it doesn't work but I think that if you want to and you can you might as well try it <laughs> try out a new idea all right so what would you say about Peninsula High School if you were speaking to an eighth grader who was having a hard time choosing which high school he or she would like to attend so if I were speaking with an eighth grader trying to decide whether to go to PV or Penn, um, I would talk about how I was in the exact same position. Like I went to PVIS, so like all of my friends and like all the people I knew were all going to PV. I like maybe had one or two friends going to Penn, but like majority of my friends were going to PV. But my brother had gone to Penn and I live a lot closer to Penn. So like uh, like my parents wanted me to go to Penn so it's kind of it was like it was a really hard choice but then like after it was after the open houses that I really decided like oh like Penn like the environment is just so much different than PVs like it's it's just a completely different vibe and it's just it's a very it's a lot more of a welcoming it like the open house at Penn was a lot more of a welcoming experience than that of PVs and so then once I, like, I went to Penn and I was really scared because, like, I didn't know very many people. I knew, like, a hand, handful of, like, people. And then, but it was, like, really easy to make friends. Like, once I, um, once school started and, like, I was, like, talking to people, I had classes with some people that I knew. And then, like, it was, like, really easy to just, like, meet new people and make friends and just, like make my experience at Peninsula my own. <laughs> it was just, it wasn't, it was just a lot easier because of the opening and welcome environment at Peninsula. <laughs> so tell us your favorite ASB event, what you liked about the event, if there, and if there are any aspects of it you would like to change. So <laughs> my favorite ASB event is by far homecoming week. Um, I remember my freshman year just walking into school um, on that Monday of homecoming week and it was the Pendergarten theme. Oh, it was so, it was like mind blowing. Like the decorations were like so cool and it was just such a great experience. And then throughout the week, like 
all the dressing up and stuff and then the dance and like I really love homecoming week and I really want to be a part of like making those decorations because I don't know it was like those like huge like murals down like on the side of the S building and stuff those blew my mind <laughs> like and uh, um yeah I just really like homecoming week and like going through all the different quads and just seeing all the decorations is really cool to me <laughs> Um, I really wouldn't change anything. I, 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 I wouldn't change anything. Like the deck, like I think it, it's the secret aspect of it is really cool. Like because then, like when you walk in on Monday morning, it's like such a big surprise, and I love it. <laughs> Alright, tell us about your least favorite ASB event and how you would like to change it. So my least favorite ASB of ASB event is definitely the back to school dance. <laughs> um, I, it's okay, the reason why is because it's just like the homecoming dance and um, I am small. I am, I'm 4'11 <laughs> and those, the dancing in the mosh is just not for me. It's, it's crazy, it's chaotic, it's sweaty, it's not, it's just not my scene. And then like the outside part, like there's activities to do and it's fun, but like I think, um, like I think since it's just like the homecoming dance, like I say we just, I think we should just keep the homecoming dance the way it is. But then I think the back to school dance should be more of like a chill, like hang out with all your friends where you can like meet people because the thing too is about the back to school dance is like it's like right when school starts so like for a lot of freshmen it's like their first like big activity I mean I guess there's the like the link crew stuff but it's like their first just like act like school like hangout thing where they can just like meet new people and stuff so like I feel like it would be nice if it were like on the football field and it's more just like spread out like there could be music playing and just like it's just like like a social it's just like I feel like the back to school dance should just be more of like like a chill thing it's not not like a crazy like in the gym dance like if it were on the football field like there could still be like the same activities types of stuff like set up all around but you could also just like hang out with your friends like meet new people listen to music maybe eat some food like that kind of thing Alrighty, how do you deal with criticism? How well do you give criticism? And what is the value of criticism? So, criticism. <laughs> I really like criticism. I mean, I think it's like, you can look at it two ways. You can like be offended of it by it, but like, I don't know. Or you could just like, it's to me, it's either like, if someone's like, oh, like, I like this, but like, this could be better. It's like, it's like validation that you're doing something right or like positive, but it's also like, so they're like helping you out. So it's like, I don't know. I like criticism because like, if I'm making, or if I'm like, say like working on an art piece, <laughs> let's say, and then someone gave me some like really great criticism, I'd be like, wow, thank you. That's great. I will apply it because like, they're just trying to help you out. They're trying to, save you of a little bit of embarrassment <laughs> i guess um what is the value of criticism like i said i really like criticism i also like giving criticism like constructive criticism to people because like like i want to help people out as much as possible like if i can help i might as well <laughs> Alrighty, give us a pep rally theme we have never done before how would you plan a decorations budget? Alrighty, so I haven't really planned a pep rally, or I mean, I haven't really like planned a big event like this ever. So, um, I don't know, pep rally theme. Okay, I think it would be really cool. I'm not sure if this would work or not, but like if you did an opposite theme type thing where like, like students could sit on the floor and then like the people running the pep rally, like the speakers could be like walking around the, on the bleachers. And then like, um, like I feel like it would look so cool if like dancers were like on the like bleachers in different levels, like dancing and stuff. I don't know, I feel like that would be really cool. And then you could have like, sorry. <laughs> and then um, you could have like, 
the screens like on like you could just have one side of the bleacher open for like the performers or whatever right so like if it were if everyone were sitting on the gym floor and then just one side of the bleachers and then you could just have like screens on the sides or something I don't know I feel like that would be neat <laughs> all right T um which pep rally was your favorite from your time at PV PHS why was it your favorite? If you can change something about it, what would it be? Alrighty, so recently there was a pep rally. It was like, I think it was like the last one. And I'm pretty sure the theme was gaming. I don't know, it had that big like Nintendo and like game on like projectors on the wall. And I really liked that pep rally because like the decorations were so cool like the light those light up balloons we had and the black lights like I thought that was such a vibe because like I don't know it was just like crazy it was like fun it was just really fun and then um the only kind of not negative but like thing I would say that what I would change about it was like we had I'm in cheer so we performed as cheer I performed as cheer and it was like really dark and like it was fine I'm I think everything went fine but um like I know it was like kind of scary at first because you're like oh my gosh we're gonna be throwing each other in the air and like it's like almost pitch black in here so like I would say like maybe a little more light like I love the white lights I did but like maybe turn on a few lights for when people perform <laughs> yeah okay that's it thank you Okay, I forgot to do the TikTok. Um, so I don't have TikTok, but my brother does. And since we're in quarantine together, um, he told me he's like, we're gonna make a new TikTok every day or you're, we're gonna keep making TikToks until I'm good at dancing. So I was like, oh boy, okay. Um, so we made one recently that I really like. <laughs> Okay, thank you.